when you realize, when you try to put yourself in that moment of like, here's Maddie, you know, a 19-year-old struggling so deeply with so many things, and in that moment, paramount to her was the public performance of putting up a beautiful photo. That's a lot of time that could have been spent in a lot of different ways. But it was putting up this like beautiful filtered photo for like the public performance of being someone on Instagram. And so I think that's really important to keep in mind. I wish I could stand up here and say like, here's directly how it impacts all of our senses of self. And it, here's directly how we know our kids are impacted. I don't think anyone knows yet, but I think keeping in mind how we all feel when our senses of self are on Instagram and we're like, we're reacting to how people see us. Just imagine how it might feel when like you are 14 and going through all of that. And the last, uh, you know, the last category, this mental health piece, which um, is the piece that connects all of it, is that Maddie, when she was at Penn, her parents would now say that she had was depressed and that they were, and that they were in the process of getting her on a medication. So you've got the piece as well, like everything else we've talked about, like this struggle with the achievement, this struggle with not feeling alone in your experience, the struggle with thinking you're failing because you're in this new place and things are harder and you haven't adjusted yet. Now you add in what her parents would say is depression. And the layer on top of that is that Maddie's family had a genetic history of depression in their family. And when I talked to the, the, you know, Maddie's mom and dad, they, they said that they, ha they had not talked openly about that when she was growing up. That it's not, and th this, is, this is kind of a larger conversation for our culture and, and other countries too where you'll see news articles about you know, someone and they died suddenly. And there will be no mention whatsoever of depression or suicide because it's like, culturally it's not something you talk about. And obviously there are you know, variations of that issue in our culture. And, but one of the things that, uh, as I talked to Maddie's family, that I thought was crucial part of her story was this idea that she was unaware of what depression was and that it ran in her family. So instead of getting to Penn and being like, you know what, uncle so-and-so or aunt so-and-so or my cousin, like, they went through depression and I saw them and they got to the other side of it and this is what it looks like and this, is, this must be what I'm feeling. Instead, it was kind of a blindsiding of, I don't know what this is. All it is is a deep darkness that, in my mind, will never go away because I haven't seen someone go from one side of it to the other. And so there was this missing idea of context that she had about what it was she was feeling because it was clear in her communication that there was this concept in her mind that, okay, well, for 18 years I felt one way, now I feel this way. Is this the next 18 years? Is this how I will feel forever? Rather than this is a short, you know, there's a period of time and if I get help and there, there is a, you know, there's light at the other side. That was the context missing.